Hey guys, Joseph here once more. Um, and today we are going to be doing this. All right, so you can see the effect. So I uploaded this um, project on my social media handle and it got a lot of engagement. So I thought I should just quickly show you how I made something like this. So let us get into the tutorial and see how to do this. So we're going to start by creating a plain object. So I'll just do something like this, something very close. So it might be any shape you want, but in this case, I just want to have a close shape to that of the phone that I just showed you. So if I hit NB, it shows me the wireframe. So I could just make this proportional 200. So this will be 400, 40 rather. So that I can have square. But believe me, this value is too small for this because by the time we are displacing this object, um, we will need enough subdivision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by two and also multiply this by two to see. I don't think this will be fine. So times two times two. So this is okay. This will be fine for that to start with. Okay, so maybe we should just round this off. 100. So this is going to be 100 times 2, which is 200. Okay. Alright, so we can now subdivide this. You can just convert. But then, if you come to a different shape that we want to collide with so we want to always have um this object interact so as this object moves around this we should interact with this surface so we already know what i'm going to be using for that the surface the form sorry collider rather so but then is the ripple effect that i want to really show you guys so if you select this hold down shift and put a collision deformer here now under your collider you want to bring in this capsule so that if you bring the capsule and move it up this is what you have so it's interacting with this shape all right so you can always come here and look for best option the inside that's not good so it's intersect that is but you can always look through to get whatever you want to so it's between intersect and outside all right so what that means now if i bring this and start moving this we have this guy interacting with this but then first issue we are going to see is that we're not having that ripple effect so for us to have that ripple effect what we do is come over to the collider under the object tab so this restore shape that is what um this graph here is what will allow us to that but before we can get room reach to this tab we need to change the follow-up method so because we don't have any follow-up method that's why we can't change anything right here so if we come here and check any of this algorithm, so what I use was um, surface. So we go to surface, you notice this comes up, really. So in my other tutorial, when I was talking about movement on this, you know I changed the restore shape. But in this case, we don't want to change that. So I'm going to right click on this graph and it's actually cut off my screen. Show in separate window. So you can just click on show in separate window, it shows it. So this is the graph that will give you the ripple effect. So how this works is that this start point is where the object is interacting with the um, geometry, why this end point is as it displaces up. So what I want to do is I'm going to create some points. So I'll control click to create some points as strategic places. So we create. So I'm going to count one, two, one, two, so undo. So let me just quickly create. So let's let's create one, two, three at every third. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, 
one, two, three. So let's just leave that. So, so for the first part, we want this to move up. So as we are moving this up, you notice what is happening to our graph right here. So um, I just quickly want to do a rough sketch of it. Then once I'm done, we'll come back here. So for the second one, I'm going to leave that. I'll take this other one, move it up. So you notice as I'm doing this, what is happening? You are seeing this displacement here. So I think I started with a value of um, 80, 0.8 thereabouts. So we leave this, we move this up. And that goes up. We leave this and move this up. All right, so that is, I'm looking for such kind of graph here. Yeah. So you can now decide to start changing this point to give you whatever how you want the ripple to go. So I want this ripple to start fading away gradually until you can barely see anything. All right, so we have that. Okay, so that's fine. So if I hit M8 to take me back to shaded mode, so right now this doesn't look nice so what we'll do is we are going to select this all the points right here all the points except the first and the last then we we'll right click go to point stipulation we're going to easy ease them so we can have this handle all right so select this right click and easy is again if you don't have that you might need to soften that All right, so really what this is, is does is just to create the handle for us to start moving this. So if you look here now, um, sorry, if you look right here, this one right here, we need to move this up. We need to have a straight curve. We don't need to come down. All right, so I'm just gonna put this stop here. So you can just refine your graph if you're doing, once you're working on it also so now what that means is if i come here and i select my capsule and i move you see how that effect okay but then it doesn't look more like a ripple water effect and for us to do that we need to add another deformer we need to before we start doing that, we need to smoothen this deformer, this ripple out. So for us to smoothen it, we'll add another deformer called smooth deformer. So you go to smoothen deformer, you take it as the chart of the plane, but immediately after the collision. So that will smoothen this decay. So instead of you having this roughness here, you have a smooth transition. All right. So you can. If you need more of the ripple, you can just go to the stiffness and increase the stiffness, right? So, I think we are fine with that default value. So, if you come back to this collider object and move, it still doesn't look like um, water. And then the killer deformer is the jiggle deformer. So, if you go to the jiggle deformer and add it, between the collision and the smooth because we want to have the jiggle first before the smooth so what jiggle does is that it adds a little bit of animation and delay to whatever movement you have here so but, but the thing with this jiggle deformer is that you don't really see it playing you have to you have to have a timeline you have to have it start playing before that will have effect so i'm going to add times here then make sure I play. You notice what happens. So if I start moving this, you see the effects start coming out. So you move this and this gives you whatever file, whatever thing you want. And the good thing with this is that as you're moving this and as it's displacing, whatever texture you have over this object, whatever texture is going to displace just as if it's part of it, it really is it's displacing it well so that is what 
the jiggle would do so if you go here and add and add a texture over to this right now and try and do that so you should have that effect so uh, you could just try that you can try that but right now i'm rendering a file so it's really taking um my system so so really what i just wanted to show was how to create the setup so you can just add that to your animation set and all that so i would like you to please do something just create up something from the head and share with me so i can see what you are able to come up with so once more if you play this and you move your capsule you have that effect so we can just play around and let me see what you you are able to come up with with this um effect so if you feel this was helpful i just felt that you could please show you how i did this so if you feel it was helpful please do give me a like and a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel you can please do subscribe because i do tutorials like this every time so do have a wonderful day and god bless you